The holiday of Purim has a number of different mitzvot that need to be fulfilled. A couple of those mitzvot are Matanol Evyonim and Mishloach Manot. But we know to knock on a person's door and to say, Hi, hello, sir, poor guy, how are you today? Here, here's Matanot Le'evyonim, probably would not be the nicest of things to do on such a festive day. One could even argue that maybe what is the reason why we wear a costume? Perhaps we wear a costume to attain a higher level of tzedakah. The Rambam writes in Hilchot Tzedakah that one, one of the highest levels of tzedakah is the person does not know who he's giving to, and the person who's receiving tzedakah does not know who he or she is receiving from. And if we are all wearing our costumes, as perhaps we should on Purim, we can fulfill this higher level of tzedakah. But, I believe, built into the fabric of the day of Purim, Chazal also instituted another way to cover who we are giving our charity to. After all, there's a mitzvah of Mishloach Manot as well. So when you knock on a person's door and you give them food, you can actually also fill the mitzvah of Matar al should they require some type of sustainability. And therefore, perhaps, the purpose of Mishloach Manot is to cover the Matan of Yonim. And if that is the case, we see here that the real essence of the holiday of Purim is to ensure all those around us have sufficient food, have sufficient money, in order to make the wonderful holiday of Purim more celebratory, more meritorious for the entire Jewish people. Have a wonderful Simchadik Purim. I want to take this opportunity to personally invite to you, whether you are a community member, whether you are a parent, a student, or an alumnus of JLIC, come out and join us and celebrate with us in an evening in support of the Jewish Learning Initiative on campus. There, we will greet you, we will meet you, we will talk to you, and we'll be very happy to provide you with a free cup of brew, whether it's a hot chocolate, or whether it's a coffee, a free drink on us with your support. Also, we'll be having a wonderful evening. We'll be raffling off various items, for example, an iPad uh, or winter coats and the like, and even giving you a free GLIC mug for you to take home, to bring back to your very humble abode to celebrate the hottest thing on campus. We'll see you at the Kosher Second Cup on March the 10th, on Saturday night, from 9 to 11 p.m.